Hi guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I've got a simple one for you actually. This is a, uh, a Lenovo Z546. It's not an old machine now. It came out when the Windows 8 was around. Uh, but it's an i7, so it's still worth using. Uh, now, this machine has got an issue where the hard drive uh, has got issues and it, it cannot be rebuilt with the software. So what we're going to do is, I just suggested to my customer that uh, it's still a good machine. I, st I still think it's worth putting a bit of money into it. Uh, we should replace the hard drive with an SSD. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Uh, I've got a, a, a 480 GB SSD uh, from Kingston. So we're gonna put that in. So the, the process basically is very simple. Take all the screws out, the ones that are here. Now the two at the top are a bit, bit bigger than those other ones. They should be anyway. Uh, and because that's where the hinges uh, are held um, for the top for the top lid um, so yeah we'll take the screws out but what I'd recommend you do is just in case screws are a different size I'd recommend just drawing a little template put some holes uh, where the screws should be and put the screws in those in that paper that way you don't lose anything and it goes back to exactly where it came from so when you do go you know do come back to putting it back together again you've got no issues so I'm gonna grab myself an empty container and uh, you need a screwdriver, this is a, a Star or a Phillips. Overhead, let's have a quick look as possible. So this is the Chardon toolkit that I'm using. Um, you can get one from the link in the description below. I think it's a fantastic screwdriver. Um, it's got all the bits that you need all in there as you can see um, yeah I've, I've you know I've been using it for quite a while I well, obviously I use a mixture of electric manual screwdrivers but I highly recommend this one see the top bit I'm holding it and I can still you know you can see what I'm doing holding it and I can hold some screwdrivers you keep turning when they kind of get into your palm this one you can just hold it there and just spin it round you know no issues whatsoever so I do like it. Now these three screws here, it's got a keyboard sign. So that tells me that the keyboard needs to come off before taking this back cover off. Okay, so let's have a quick look at that, shall we? Yes, it does. I've got a, so we need to get into the grooves. On the side here, uh, there are some grooves a groove there just around the side of the keyboard so we need to pop that off let's push the lid down a little bit more and just get into the top there just do it slowly um, and then you can just use your finger, hand fingers just to pull it out that way you feel that you're not putting anything that's should be pulled and then you have a flex cable for the keyboard again we'll put that to one side we have couple of flexes that need to come off. You could use a plastic um, tweezer like I've got, uh, got here or you can use your fingers as well. The tweezer is not going to do this, do this trick. Use your fingers, pull them out, that's it. And also uh, that reveals another three screws. Uh, yeah, I think this one there, but there's no that comes from the, that comes through the back. So yeah, I've got three screws here. I think these may just be the same size. So let's have a, those are the back cover ones. Yes, they are exactly the same. Now this, this screwdriver is magnetized. So if you do lose a screw, you can just, like I've just lost one down there. You can see, just pick that up and put that to one side. And this should just lift off. The back should just come off now. Let's have a, Quick look. Okay, so the CD drive stays in its position. Got a bit of dust. I'll clean up that when I get a chance. Okay, so uh, the hard drive is just there. So we need to get that out. It's held in by four screws. Uh, we'll need to pop off this flex first of all. Just put that to one side. Uh, just going to do your head in. Just put a screwdriver or something over it so it doesn't get in the way, just hold it. 
Okay, so it was a screw. One more. And then slide it to the left, okay? Just very slowly. You don't want to put too much. Oh, there's one more screw there, sorry. It didn't work, is it? It's five screws. Did I take off five screws? Oh, I took off one in the wrong place. That should be. The board. Yeah, I'm a human being. These things do happen. We've got AI. Okay, right. So let's put this. These screws, we know that they're silver, so they go in there for the moment. And it's got a bracket on there, so okay. So, this is the one terabyte drive. Let's see how old this drive is. So, eight years, eight years old. So, that's I assume the machine's probably that, that age. So, first of all, we're going to take off this bracket. the SSD in I don't knit the screws up stra um, fully straight away make sure I get all the screws in first otherwise you, you, you may find that if you tighten it too much you can't get the other screws in so then you've got something to play with you've got a bit of play there there you go the last one you can go all the way Screw in. <clears throat> okay, so that's how you upgrade a Lenovo Z546 to a SSD. I hope you like the video. Hope it's helped you out and saved you a bit of cash. Um, uh, a like, a subscribe would be uh, most welcome. Thank you. Have a great day.